Good morning, folks. It's going to be a weird space weather analysis day. NOAA has a scary and yet not scary CME forecast. Hopefully you caught our special video last night. We're breaking it all down, starting at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star was pretty quiet. However, the big story today comes with the analysis of the previous day's coronal mass ejection. As we said yesterday, the Northern Active Region released an M-class solar flare of long duration and the CME is coming at Earth. Based on coronagraph images, it appeared that at least one of the previous eruptions was heading our way, but there is no doubt about the halo eruption visible at the end there, or on the C3 camera, that one's coming at Earth. Now NASA's Enlil Spiral shows an impact tonight, basically when the USA is winding down their evening, and that timing matches NOAA's Enlil Spiral, except they show the M-Flare CME overtaking the previous one. This is not that surprising, as I mentioned yesterday, because it was a long duration flare, and those make the best CMEs, as I said. Now, despite my words yesterday, a lot of folks were asking why this CME could be relevant when the one from the X-Class solar flare really was less relevant. In addition to their being off different hemispheres of the sun, which means their magnetism will be different, a long duration flare will outperform the CME production of an impulsive flare, even of much greater magnitude. In green on the left, I've circled the X-class flare from the end of October, impulsive. On the right, I've circled the long duration flare in red. Yes, if all other things are equal, a flare rating can be a great way to judge which CME will be stronger than another. But the duration, plasma bulk, and the width versus narrowness of the ejection all matter as well. Today, the weak coronal hole stream we're seeing in the solar wind should be waning back in the hours before the CME arrives. NOAA is predicting only a G1 storm from this event. Kind of a not scary forecast given how fast they have forecast the CME to arrive. If the CME indeed hits when these endless spirals expect, I think the storm could be a bit bigger. But once again, don't let other channels fool or scare you. This one is not the scary one either. Quick note on La Palma. After twin five-pointers over the weekend, another one struck early this morning. That's three at the magnitude five range there after the long buildup. Let's do a bit of science as well here, starting with Hubble's amazing look at N44, super bubble in the middle of the large Magellanic cloud. I'm actually going to have some fun with this one because tipped over, focusing on the super bubble at this angle, reveals Mikey from the first Men in Black movie. See, K didn't green goo that guy in the opening scene. He's been up there the whole time. Getting a bit more serious, excellent classical Nova study here. Remember, these can repeat and don't kill the star. And this one at only 10 to the 37 ergs is on the weaker side of the Nova scale. This one would not destroy the Earth if it happened on the sun. Looking into deep space next at the Virgo supercluster and coming with it is the recognition that what's killing star formation and galaxies today is the interactions and heating and excitement of the plasma from the past. The more violent the environment, the less apt the stars are to grow up the way they should. Funny how that works, isn't it? If you missed last night's video, it was a doozy, hitting the solar forcing of the upper atmosphere and bringing with it key implications for the layers below. What are the odds that NASA would pump their CO2 densities video at different altitudes on the exact same day? Almost like I knew it was coming. Anyway, if you missed it, it's part one of what will be a couple part series, and it's about as simple as highly complex atmospheric physics and chemistry can be. But I also want to hear from you. Would videos like that be better if they were slightly different? If you could look me in the eye instead of just listening. Would love to know your thoughts on how the information would be best received. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch last night's video if you can. Would love your comments on our format question here if you're willing. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.